perfect launch. And a controlled drop. This is as good a descent as it's possible to make. Its parents are there to meet it. A little dazed, perhaps, but all in one piece. One gosling, at least, hasn't made it. And this chick appears to be in a bad way. At last, it responds to its mother's calls. The resilience of a barnacle goose chick is extraordinary. But there are still chicks unaccounted for, somewhere amongst the rubble. The parents can't risk searching because they need to lead their two survivors away quickly before predators arrive. A third one has made it. But it needs to catch up. Reunited. Three out of five chicks have made it. Without such a dramatic start in life, it's unlikely any of them would have even got this far. These are dangerous places to be at the bottom of the food chain. Unable to run, Nothronychus relies on brute strength. Tyrannosaurs are predators that will eat anything, even one of their own, whether they've killed it or not. And a discovery found in Montana of a number of meat-eating dinosaurs appeared to show that being such an unfussy eater could have dramatic consequences. It seems scavenging can hold hidden dangers. This Tyrannosaur wasn't killed by Nothronychus. 
there's a more deadly killer at work here. Predator's bones were found alongside the edge of an ancient stagnant lake. And all of them died at the same time. Similar mass killings have been found today among birds. And the killer, a fast acting, naturally occurring deadly disease, botulism. Botulism is caused by bacteria that can thrive in rotting carcasses. We think that the dinosaurs, too, might have been victims of this lethal and invisible killer. Once a carcass is poisoned, it is quickly passed on to any animal that eats it, with lethal results. But plant eaters like Nothronychus are usually safe from such deadly killers. By completely changing its diet, Nothronychus shows the extraordinary adaptability of the group known as the theropod dinosaurs. A time when both egg and the brooding parent are permanently at risk. Smaller oviraptors are no more than a nuisance. Larger predators are a different story. Unwilling to leave the nest, the adult protects its offspring, first by hiding, And if that fails, it goes on the offensive. Protecting the nest means Gigantoraptor's young are more likely to survive. It now seems clear that the instinct to nurture and care for a nest of eggs had its origins with the dinosaurs. It's a behavior that was so successful, it's still widespread today with birds. But the fossils show something else. These animals all died sitting on their nests. It seems that the threats don't always come from predators. Sometimes the real danger comes from the most unlikely places.
these dinosaurs were all buried alive. Leopards are the most versatile of all the big cats, adept at finding cover in the most unpromising places. The steep walls of the gully are now her cover for an ambush. The male puku is close enough, but he's too big to tackle. She needs to slip past him without being seen. If he spots her, he'll blow her cover. Slowly it does it. To succeed here, she needs to find prey grazing close to the edge. Or better still, in the gully itself. Frustration. Success would have staved off hunger for a week. But while there's prey around, there's hope. Peeking over the top is a risk, but it's the quickest way to find a new target. A burst of speed of 65 kilometers an hour, and it's all over in less than six seconds. Except it isn't. Dazed and disorientated, the Impala makes a miraculous escape. You've got parked vehicles coming through, you've got trucks loaded up with charcoal, and that's why Jiminuka is just so tense about crossing the road. Well, if it was just him, it'd be fine. So he's just waiting nervously for a quiet time to cross with his whole family. I feel for him. After 20 minutes, we take matters into our own hands, and Lambert stops the traffic. Look at this, oh my gosh. Now, there you go, that's confidence for you. With Chimanuka in charge, the orphan Morali is confident enough to venture out. Whoa, oh, fantastic. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. The whole family. Moira and his mother are almost the last ones to break cover and scamper over. Absolute confidence, look. With all the youngsters across safely, Chimanuka can stop being the lollipop man. The boss showing us that despite there's a road running through, this is still his jungle. <laughs> I love it. It's a great relief to see the whole family across the road in safety. This area is more densely forested than the sections we've been in before. It's crisscrossed with gorilla trails, so there are clearly other families around. And Muguruka's arrival just adds to the numbers. Here he comes. Oh my word. Right down onto the road. Amazing. He didn't even, I thought maybe stop, he'd be a bit reluctant, but of course he came meters from me to see him out in the open like this. You see how big he is. Amazing. <laughs> 